Hey there, welcome back to Justin Talks Puppets, where we talk about reviews, comedy, and nostalgia. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then feel free to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more awesome puppet content just like this. So today we're going to be talking about Bear in the Big Blue House, which I loved this show growing up. Would watch it all the time as a kid. And if you're like me, if you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, I'm pretty sure you were also a fan of Bear in the Big Blue House. If you want to know more about Bear in the Big Blue House, the show's history, say maybe you didn't grow up with the show, you can definitely go check out the video up here where I talk about the show's history and where those puppets are today. So the first thing in the Bear in the Big Blue House collection is this Playhouse Disney cassette, which I already showed in a previous video, which would be my Book of Pooh video. I showed how it worked, how it plays, what on the inserts but it's really cool because it does have bear uh, on the front right there along with the rest of the Playhouse Disney characters. As far as songs on this thing for the Bear and the Big Blue House show, there are a good five songs on here. Surprisingly, there isn't uh, the goodbye song. I don't see it on here and I don't see the bear cha-cha-cha. I don't even see the opening of the show. So that's interesting, but maybe these songs were more popular as the show went along. Alright, so next up in the collection is this Bear and the Big Blue House DVD that I found at the thrift store. It is Visiting the Doctor with Bear. It contains three front episodes, includes interactive sing along the three episodes are Picture of Help, That Healing Filling, Big Blue House Call. All these pretty much feature the pig called Doc Hogg. He was also one of my favorite characters on the show because along with the DVD and many episodes on Bear, it would help kids face their fears. So if you had a fear of like going to the doctor or getting a checkup, or it would kind of help you feel more comfortable in going for a checkup, going to visit the doctor. There's a bunch of special features and stuff on there that is really, really cool. So next up, we have this Band of the Blue House Subway 1999 Your Choice Tutter Milk Toy. Uh, it's really cool. He's got cheese, right? And there's pieces like string in between them. But if you go like this, supposed to chase the cheese. So if I if I were to go like this, chase the look at him chase the look at him chase the look at him chase. <laughs> More like the cheese. Supposed to go like this, and then he's supposed to. This toy from a thrift store. If you ever been to any type of thrift store, they, it's in one of those like toy bags. Along with Tutter at the time, uh, with Subway Mill Toys, you could have gotten a pop in like a tub, a uh, big blue house, and I think you looked through it, there was like images, kind of like a Viewmaster type deal. And last but not least, there was like a bear toy. Subway did sell a lot of mill toys that you think they wouldn't have, and um, Bear in the Big Blue House would be one of them. They did a lot of Cartoon Network. They did do a lot of Cartoon Network. So next up, we got this really cool plush Tutter uh, keychain. The back here, he comes like with the little zipper on the back. At the time, put him on your backpack, take him to school. This was actually, uh, by applause, produced as a set of Bear and the Big Blue House plush keychains called Treasure Keepers. The set included Bear, Tutter, and the Big Blue House with Luna. It's kind of funny because at the time, that at the 99 cent store we were kids, I remember seeing uh, the bear keychain, and inside bear was Luna. So maybe inside Tutter at the time, there was also maybe a Luna or another character. Tutter actually came with a yellow kind of clip to him. So um, unfortunately, that's missing. All right, so next up in the collection, we have Ojo, a little small, little soft, uh, like a beanbag type plush. I actually found her at a, a place called Frankenstein's out here in California. It's this big convention collector toy collecting type place as Alex would say it's like a in-person eBay found her there with a tag her original tag which is rare Ojo plush is by Fisher Price which is really cool because a lot of the bear merch that I either have or collect from my childhood would be by a pause because on the tag it says collect them all so I don't know I'm guessing there were more I tried looking it up and I didn't see much others. I saw smaller plushes, but nothing like this. And what I really thought was cool about this, it's almost like as if she had signed it. So there's her signature. So on the back here, you see her with the Jim Henson Kermit logo. Cha cha cha. Ooh la la. So this is the official Disney Store Bear plush. They made bigger ones, smaller ones, all sorts of different ones, but this uh, is actually not the one I have from Miles Cat. I found that also him at a thrift store as well. On his anus right here, you can see it says Disney Store. It doesn't talk anything like that. He has, uh, which I thought was kind of cool, for some of the bear plushes, they made this kind of like final nose, which is cool. But over time, what starts to happen is when this stuff starts to kind of deteriorate, he's got like a white nose. So unfortunately, the bear that I had when I was a kid used to be a whole lot bigger, and it was cool, but the nose was that vinyl in it, and it would just fade away. So this is a really cool bear plush. Like I said, multiple ones that they made. I even had the cha-cha-cha bear at one point in time, sold it like a dummy. Uh, wish I could get it back. They also had Trilo and Pippin Pop and Tutter and 
everybody else. Next up, I have a variety of Bear in the Big Blue House books. It's Where is Bear? And throughout the book, uh, pretty much you're trying to find Bear and everything that he's doing throughout the day. So the next book in the collection is Santa Visits the Big Blue House. Pretty much Bear and all his friends on Christmas Eve are getting ready for Santa to arrive. And they're doing things to make sure that, you know, the house is all ready for Santa. And throughout the book, it's pretty cool interacting for kids. There's like a star here. And one thing you do notice about Brandon the House books is kind of cool sometimes. They'll look like cartoons, and then sometimes they'll add in like the live action of the real life bear and his friends. So here's the next book, Raiders of the Lost Cheese. Kind of like Indiana Jones inspired. Ojo and Tutter try to find where X marks the spot throughout the big blue house and try to find that lost cheese. There's another book that I got from the thrift store. It's Tutter's Tiny Trip. This one's kind of different because it's more of like a hardcover. It shows Tutter on a trip with his grandma or getting ready to go on a trip with his grandma Flutter. And um, yeah, very, very cool. A lot of detailing, a lot of pictures. There's another book called The Way I Feel Today and it's about uh, you know feelings going from sad to silly, how every character is going from silly to sadness and it's teaching kids that it's okay to have certain emotions in a certain way. So here we have Bear's Storytime Favorites, which is really cool. I got this at a thrift store as well. And uh, what's really cool about this book is it's a big collection of multiple books in one. So all the books I just showed you, it took you not in here. There are multiple books within this one book. I feel like that's really cool because if you were able to collect all of the Bear and the Big Wolf books, this book kind of covers that collection for you. So also in my collection here is like a scrapbook of all the stuff from like childhood and stuff. Um, I actually didn't, these are not, it's weird, they are from that time period and then they're not from that time period, if that makes sense. I ended up recently printing these out and this is the most, um, for anybody that's trying to start a collection, this is actually the cheapest way you could start your collection, is uh, printing out some uh, coloring pages. As you see here, the Book of Pooh. And then you got right here, of course, Bear. But there were a lot more Bear in the Big Blue House color pages that I could have printed out off of Google. But unfortunately, a lot of the pictures are kind of weird, kind of blurry. So this is really the only good picture that I felt was uh, pretty clear. But I don't remember seeing a lot of these coloring pages via in the Disney store. I remember them being online. So if you went to PlayhouseDisney.com online, you could print out these coloring pages. And or you could also print them on the website and then print them out. But if you want to start your collection and you're like, I don't have money to really buy stuff from my childhood, you can always start with color pages. All right, and last but not least, um, I thought this was kind of cool. I got this off of eBay. Um, they used to either give these away right now to either Walmart or the Disney store. <laughs> yeah. Those uh, Walmart greeters who always had big buttons like this. Was so, it Hollywood Video or Blockbuster? Hollywood Video too. Yep, 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 yep. They would, um, I thought, I'm not too for sure on where this came from. I'm going to guess the Disney store. But uh, they would always advertise a VHS DVD back then by handing out these buttons. So pretty much everybody was free advertisement. Uh, you're walking billboard. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not check out the next video on the screen right here? I think you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you over there.